Hi everyone, it's Laura from lauralondonfitness.com. How's everyone doing today? Awesome. Today I'm going to be talking about my four favorite homemade detox drinks. Okay, I'm just looking at the Facebook Live. Um, so yeah, today I want to talk to you about my four most favorite homemade detox drinks. And the reason I wanted to talk to you guys about this is, first of all, I don't know, you guys know I'm into fitness, but did you also know that I'm a holistic health coach, that nutrition is really my passion, and how the body works? That's right. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about detoxing because you can be doing all the right things eating the right foods you know taking supplements protein powders and you're still not seeing results and that can be really really frustrating i've been there trust me so one thing that's super important is to let your body detox especially you know as time goes by and we get older, our systems are not working as efficiently as they used to. So detoxing is the key. It's almost like the missing link when you're doing everything right. So, hey everyone, welcome. So really great to see you here on this Facebook Live broadcast. I'm talking about my four most favorite detox drinks. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I have here. Let's see, I'm gonna start with one that's really, really super easy. This is detox tea. Now, what I want you to know is I didn't even boil this tea. This is how simple. Another thing I do is make things really, really simple for people. So this is, it's called Everyday Detox. It's non-GMO. It's organic, always look for the best quality foods that you can get, but it's as simple as putting a tea bag in, letting it seep if you don't even have the time to heat up water and just drink this throughout the day. It's got all sorts of herbs in it and it's going to help your body detox naturally. Can you do that? Hey Michelle, how are you girl? All right, I know you can do that. Simple, huge, easy. Next, this is one of my favorite things. Everyone knows they should be drinking lemon water. So lemon water is very detoxing for the body. It's super hydrating. It's gonna flush out your system. It starts peristalsis in the morning, which is getting the body flowing. But I'm, some people say to me, Laura, I don't have time to squeeze a lemon. Laura, I don't have time to do all that nonsense. So again, I'm gonna make it really, really simple for you. Watch this. I have a lemon, right? bottle of water this is a carafe of water i filled up i take these lemon i cut it and i put it into the bottle of water can you do that are you with me so far awesome next thing i like to do whoop, let's push it in there i take some basil this is gorgeous basil it's actually from my garden if we have time i'm going to take you out there today so i put the basil in my water Oh my gosh, have you ever thought of lemon and basil together? Look at this, I'm just gonna shake it up. How gorgeous is that? Now what you do is you drink this throughout the day and then when the water is gone, you add more water in, put it in the refrigerator until you're ready. This combination here will last you four days. That's right, you don't need to cut a new lemon Hi, Marina, how are you, baby? You don't need to cut a new lemon every day. This will last for four days. And this is powerfully strong detoxing lemon water. And the basil is awesome. Yes, you could use mint. There are so many different combinations that you can make, but right now, lemon and basil is my favorite, favorite, favorite. So can you do that? Awesome, I knew it. Hey, you guys are awesome. All right, I wanted to show you this too. This is basil that I'm just growing. Can you see that? In the jar. Did you know you can like snip basil from a, a basil plant and put it in water and it will start to re-root itself? Isn't that amazing? So what I do is I put in, to keep it green, 
I put in something called azomite, which are, are minerals, and you can order that online. Minerals for this, and you can keep this on your kitchen counter. Hi, Joanne, it's going to keep growing. Do you see these roots? Awesome, can you do that? I know you can, and you can make it pesto. You can do so many amazing things. Put some chopped basil on a salad, delish. All right, what was I gonna do next? Oh, all right, I was gonna show you something else. So I maybe have five detox drinks here. Ginger, well we can add ginger to our lemon and basil water, or we can just add ginger to our water. I actually make a really awesome ginger turmeric detox tea and I'm going to share that with you on another video but this is ginger see it I have peeled it we don't have smell of vision I wish we did but ginger um, has gin ginger all in it and it's it's awesome it's actually part of the turmeric family which is really really powerful but ginger is gonna help you guys with digestion um, nausea it has anti-inflammatory properties so you could simply put the ginger in your detox tea you could add the jimmer jimmer ginger oh I think my kids are home you're gonna kill me to your lemon and basil water um, or you can add it just to a glass of water and drink it throughout the day all right my last tip here is someone came home um, this is a uh, Bipurium. This is my organic green spectrum. Adding a green drink to your diet is huge. This is so detoxing and powerful to the body. I'm going to show you. See how green and beautiful that is? This is so simple to do. You could do this every day. Watch this. You put it in the cup. These are mason jars. I love mason jars. Watch. Ready for the simplicity of this? Yes, it's also a natural antibiotic. Thank you, Sandy. Look at that. There is my green drink. I'll put this, um, I'll take this to the gym in one of my water bottles. I will drink it with my lunch. It has a lemon flavor. And again, we could have used our lemon basil water. We could have used our detox water. We could have put ginger in it. Are you seeing how simple this is? It really does not have to be so complicated. So that is is my uh, my tips for today your detox tea lemon basil water green drink ginger and a special growing some basil on your countertop so that's it next I wanted to talk to you because I am doing the hot and healthy um, excuse me I am running the hot body ex and it is starting November 14th so this is about rolling into the holiday season feeling fit and fabulous we start November 14th it's a 30-day accountability program you're working with me and a group of amazing women getting hot and healthy together I share workouts you're gonna have daily emails I'm gonna be giving you homework hello miss Alyssa nice to see you we are going to have so much fun. Yes, getting healthy, getting fit can be fun because if it's not fun, who the heck wants to do it, right? It doesn't have to be work. It doesn't have to be a chore. And I'm going to show you all my tips and tricks and tools. We have meal plans for you. You're going to have your own membership site where you log in and you access all the whole program I'm sending you an email every day we have a Facebook group did I say that for accountability we've done the program before it's a huge success you're gonna learn so much and love it and I just love working with everyone hi Cindy you know the the phone is a little far away so sometimes it's hard for me to see everyone who's joining on but I'm glad you did so today those were my four favorite homemade detox drinks and I have a bunch more so don't worry and oh <laughs> thanks more. hi Marina how are you baby all right everyone I am going to be seeing you again real soon and if you want to check out the hot and healthy body challenge hot body express 
starting November 14th. You can visit lauralondonfitness.com and learn more about it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You can e email me, I don't know where my tongue is today, uh, laura at lauralondonfitness.com and I will see you guys again real soon. Leave me a comment below. Tell me which is the first detox water that you're going to implement in your hot and healthy toolbox. They're all simple, they're all doable, and I know you can do each one of them. All right guys, love you, and I will see you again on the next Facebook Live. Bye-bye. <laughs> Getting text messages as we go along. Ooh, oh, you know what, wait a minute. I was gonna take you guys outside to see my garden. Yeah, I really wanted to show you my garden, so come here. We're gonna go through my house. It's Halloween time, I've got some decorations going on, but look at this. We're gonna go outside. Let me switch the camera. Can you see that? We've got basil. This is a lemon lime tree, chives, parsley. That's more basil. Yes, I know I'm supposed to clip the pretty flowers off, but they just look so pretty. That's my pineapple that I had just harvested. And these are um, peppers. And over here, it's my patio garden. You guys can do this. This is my wheatgrass. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to grow wheatgrass and sprouting also. And that's really it. I just wanted you to see that um, if you have space, some dirt and a desire, you too can, you know, plant and grow something. Like my friend Farmer Jay says, grow something. All right, now I'm really going to sign off. All right, everyone, have a fit and fabulous day. Whoa, bye. <laughs> yes, it's growing a lot, I know. Thank you, bye.